Hey guys, it's Light here, and today we actually have new evidence of something in Starfield. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, it helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I upload daily Starfield, Elder Scrolls, and Fallout content. With all that said and done, let's get straight into the video. So, as the title suggests, today we're going to be taking a look at possible new evidence of a settlement slash building mode in Starfield. Obviously this is all just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt, but we do have some evidence to back this up. I'm talking about this image here. Now, zooming in, we see the sign that says Scrap, which has led to all of this speculation. This picture is concept art for Aquila City, and it does appear to be some kind of store where we can buy said Scrap, but the fact that it is concept art is exactly why this all needs to be taken with a huge grain of salt. Another theory, I guess, is why would Bethesda have a sign in this art that says scrap if we can't buy scrap? And if there isn't a building mode, what else could scrap be for? Now obviously you could argue that we need scrap to modify our armor, our weapons, and our ships, which is probably true, but this piece of concept art is still interesting. It has been rumored for some time that we'll be getting some sort of colony building system in Starfield, much like Fallout 4 settlement building system. Now personally, I would really like to see this as long as it isn't too forced into the story. I really love building settlements in Fallout 4, so I think I'd enjoy doing something along those lines in Starfield, as long as Bethesda improve it. Because settlement building in Fallout 4 without mods, such as USO, Place Anywhere and Scrap That Settlement, it really is a pain to get settlements exactly how you want them. Like in Fallout 4, we couldn't even scrap skeletons and leaves. Bethesda do really need to improve on the system in my opinion. Now obviously there were these leaked images here, which do kind of look like colony building. Obviously these are clearly very early stage images of Starfield. But either way, these are the pictures that made everyone start assuming that there was some type of building in the game in the first place. Now a while ago there was these leaks of these sort of signs that got leaked a while back, which people thought were signs we could place around our colonies. I looked for like two hours, and for some reason I cannot find these pictures absolutely anywhere, otherwise I obviously would have shown you guys. Honestly, I don't think it really proves anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. One thing I will say is I really hope Bethesda doesn't just give us Aquila City, Neon, and New Atlantis, and then a bunch of empty planets we can build on. That would really suck. I'd rather see one planet we can build on and then five-ish planets that we can actually play the game on and explore. Honestly, one of my very few complaints with Fallout 4 was the lack of towns and cities. We had Good Neighbor, which was smaller than most settlements, and Diamond City. That's literally it, unless you count Bunker Hill and Covenant, which I don't. And that was literally it. And I think the lack of cities and towns in Fallout 4 was due to Bethesda wanting us to build our own with settlements. Even though we couldn't because of the ridiculous build limit, but whatever. Obviously from all of the leaks and concept art we've seen, it doesn't look like Bethesda is going to do that again. I mean, just looking at the concept art for New Atlantis shows us how big the towns and cities in Starfield will be. I just hope that Bethesda hasn't given us a really limited number of planets to explore just so then we can build on them, if that makes sense. Anyway guys, that will do it for today's video. It is a real short one so I do apologise for that. I just wanted to bring this rumour to everyone's attention as I do think it's interesting. That being said, if you do enjoy the video, please do hit like, it helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I upload daily Starfield, Fallout, and Elder Scrolls content, and we're hoping to hit 300 subscribers here soon, so it would really mean a lot. With all that said and done, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.